Good evening. This is Two Wolves reporting from Utah. I am not in Idaho, but one ago I was. And I know that you've heard about the Beaver Fire in the Ketchum Haley Sun Valley area. This is beautiful Ketchum, Idaho, Sun Valley, Haley, an area of great beauty in the mountains of Idaho. And it's in very serious trouble now. You have been hearing about it on CNN. I'm going to give you a little bit of perspective from one who has lived there. It's always good to bring things home from a personal perspective, particularly when it involves a member of Gamley. I'm not there, but there is a member of Duchess Gamley who still lives in the Haley, Idaho area, who therefore is in peril along with their community, carefully not mentioning name or gender. There may be other members of Gamley living there now, I don't know. In any case, thousands of people in deep trouble now. This is the Beaver Creek Fire. I'm reporting on Saturday, August 17th at 9.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. This will already be outdated by the time you view it. The blaze was started by lightning August 7th. It expanded significantly Friday and it has virtually exploded today, Saturday. It has been burning through tender, dry brush and timber in the mountains west of the towns of Sun Valley, Ketchup, and Haley. Efforts Saturday were focused on protecting homes excuse me, and structures in the gulches and foothills just west of Haley and Ketchum. Sadly, not to a lot of avail. They have put their heart into it. Hundreds of firefighters there. You can come here, down here. This is from the Idaho Statesman as of today www.idahostatesman.com, probably the best place to follow in terms of mainstream media. Thus far, at least 2,250 2, homes have been told to evacuate. 7,750 homes under pre-evac notice. That's almost every home in this area. The wind has picked up. I'm just going to show you some pictures you may not have seen yet. Valiant effort in fire suppression here. C-30 dropping retardant near Deer Creek. Shot from Mount Carbonate North. I'll give you a map in just a moment. North hours before the mountain caught. Everything is stacked against this area, folks. Not And Utah's in severe trouble in terms of fires as well. No sign that the fire weather is going to be changing. Here's another fire NATO. We had one of these in Utah the other day. Another one is horrific fire NATOs. Helicopter versus fire NATO. Blaine County, Idaho. Fire Chief, we got our butts kicked in Greenhorn and Deer Creek, but we are safe and morale is high. Please pray for everyone in the path of this incredible danger. Firefighters and residents Incredible photo of Idaho power crews working safely in treacherous conditions on the Beaver Creek Fire. Look at them. All courtesy of the Idaho Statesman. There's actually more than one fire raging in this area. Uh, this is showing the immense cloud of smoke going right across this part of North America. And picture Carbonate Mountain with a helo much more and local comments. Okay, well that's the statesman, you'll want to follow that. This is a the one of the more recent maps of this fire from Insaweb www.insaweb.org. Remember them from last year. This is the Sawtooth National Forest. One of the most current maps, this thing is monstrous, it's close to 100,000 acres, if not there already. Here is Little Sun Valley, Ketchum. This is the only main highway out. Haley, Bellevue. Bellevue's not a threat, Haley is, and Haley is where the member of Gamley resides. Current evacuations and pre-evacuations listed here. Please follow on Insaweb if this pertains to you or anyone you love. I 
I downloaded a map. Oops, just we'll get there in just a moment. Well, I have too many windows open. Okay, Sun Valley, and then I'm going to show you where the current evacuations are. Here's Ketchum Warm Springs Road. Years ago, there was a horrific fire out here. This more than beats that. Bald Mountain, the big ski area, much of the fire is centered right around here, and we'll talk about that in a moment. This road leads into Ketchum, town of Sun Valley. This is Highway 75 going north. There's not a lot of access roads or highways in and out of here, folks. Heart of Ketchum. And, and then Haley is only about 12 miles south. It's also under threat. This is the town of Haley. This is the main drag, Highway 75. This is the area of Haley that's being evacuated already. Okay, and so you can come to this. I want to let you get, I'll put all the links below, but let's, I'll show you the link so you can watch. www.visitsunvalley.com. There's the link. You might want to follow along as you pray and send good thoughts to this area. And, um, Okay, most recent news release from InsaWeb. We're going with InsaWeb in this case instead of NIFSI. It's more immediate. Beaver Creek Fire News Release, www.insaweb.org. This is an older release, and I'll come to the more current one in a moment with evacuations listed, but this is some background. Here's the fire information numbers if you need to get hold of them, if you've got loved ones in the region. Email. Extremely active fire behavior on the Beaver Creek fire was expected yesterday. Today, as I say, it's exploded. Red flag warning for high gusty winds and low relative humidity. Wind gusts from the south up to 30 miles an hour. Very dry fuels are being ignited. This is sage, juniper, and grass. But air assets are affected. Tremendous firefighting here. Fire is expected to readily reach treetops, that's torching folks, in the timber fields and spot up to one mile away or more. Spot fires are created by airborne embers. Heavy timber patches located on south facing slopes are expected to burn heavily and I believe the fire is on the south side of Baldy as we speak. Firefighters today will continue structure protection efforts in Deer Creek, and this is where they were yesterday, Greenhorn Gulch, heavily populated, Timber Gulch, Golden Eagle, and engine crews in the communities. This tells you how serious this is. This is engine crews in the urban communities of Ketchum and Sun Valley. That's right in the neighborhoods, folks. A retardant plant will be relocated near Ketchum today for rapid turnaround. Thursday, the fire entered Old Castle Rock burn area. This burnt last year when I was living there. It's burnt across Greenhorn Gulch to the north and near Timber Gulch. It's west of Dollarhide Summit. Okay, I want to come to the more immediate evacuations. This is the most recent. So if you have loved ones in Sun Valley, anywhere in the region, and please send your prayers. This is all over the news because people such as Schwarzenegger, John Kerry, Eastwood, and others have homes there. But more importantly, the common man and woman live there as well. It's not, don't be lulled into thinking this is just all sorts of rich or, or uh, very wealthy or elite individuals. There's a lot of very hardworking people from all around the world who reside here as well, not all of whom may easily be able to get out. Current mandatory evacuation areas. This is what they're saying. Take, I haven't seen this very often, and this is from four hours ago. Okay, uh, as of one and a half hours ago, West Ketchum pre-evacuation notice. 
This is, let's read through. Current mandatory evacuation. Take your essentials, belongings, and pets and go now. If you live in this region, if you have friends who are there and they're still trying to stay home, you tell them, go now. Galena Summit, south to North Fork. This is actually Sawtooth National Forest Headquarters. So even the Sawtooth Head Forest Headquarters is in peril. On both sides of Highway 75, including easily, does not include Galena Lodge. Remember, this is the only road up north out of the area, up toward Galena. So people, I hope nobody's still in the back country. Glassford Heights north to the SNRA on both sides of Highway 75, including Fox Creek, Eagle Creek, Chocolate Gulch, and North Fork, Trailer Park, Hospital Bridge, south up to and including all of the East Fork on both sides of the highway, including these areas. All of these areas. Heatherlands, this is a suburb near Ketchum. Creek Canyon, Creek Canyon from Big Wood Bridge West. If you're physically unable to evacuate, call 911. All services to the call 911. All services to these evacuated areas will be discontinued. You will not be allowed to re-enter until after the danger has passed. All public lands from Galena Summit south of the SNRA headquarters are closed on both sides of Highway 75. All public lands from Galena Summit South are closed on both sides of Highway 75. Public lands north of Highway 20 to Galena Summit are closed west of 75. Pre-evacuation areas, Lake Creek, south to the hospital bridge on both sides of Highway 75. This includes Warren Springs and the cities of Ketchum and Sun Valley. Residents of Haley, west of River Street, I'll show you the map again in a minute, including Queen of the Hills Drive, Sherwood Forest, and Delaview Subdivision, does not include Albertsons yet. Begin preparations now so you can leave immediately should conditions deteriorate. Maintain situational awareness. This wording is unusual, folks. This tells us how incredibly dangerous and dire the situation is in Ketchum, Sun Valley, and Haley. If you are in danger, do not wait for an evacuation order. Leave immediately. And in this area, there's all sorts of little pockets of little communities tucked down in hollows. Remember, this fire is spotting. Don't assume that just because you're not in the listed areas, you're not in danger. Residents of pre-vac zones with no means of transportation should ask a neighbor or call this number. Please be aware officers may be unable to go door to door as resources are tied up with mandatory evacuations. That means don't wait to be told. Be aware. Be situationally aware. The highway was still open about an hour and a half ago. We don't know. So let's go back and look at this map. So that's Ketchum. So, and I'm not covering it all, so don't count on me. I'm just pitching in where I can. I wish I were there to, I wish I were there to volunteer and help. Okay, Warm Springs, evacuation. Catch him. Sun Valley should be evacuated or pre-evacuated. And Haley. Remember, this is Highway 75, which could be closed at any time get out now. This is the main drag once again, Highway 75. This is the area that's already they're being told at least two hours ago to get out. Okay. I don't know what more to say about this. Follow the Statesman, follow InsomWeb, and follow local news. I just send you all my prayers, everyone. Be safe. Don't delay.